First step is to use the scissors to cut all the way around your inked print, okay? Once you've done that, then you're going to go and do a bubble cut around your buildings, okay? So I'm just getting rid of the excess, okay? And then from that point, you're going to cut very carefully along the highest um, building and cut it out so that you have a very carefully cut skyline. That's very important. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna be carefully cutting along it. And you know what? I don't think I can get down into that area very well. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna turn my scissors and go up, okay? And I'm gonna cut in and gosh, I just don't think I can do that. So I'm gonna go around like that. I'm gonna cut in here, pull my scissors out, cut in at that angle, just comes out so nicely. I'm gonna cut in, pull my scissors, or sorry, turn it. I'm gonna pull my scissors out and then cut back down and look how nicely I'm able to do that. So I'm gonna cut in, turn a corner, pull my scissors out, and then I can cut back in, okay? So that's looking pretty good. Now I need to go back though and get these areas, okay? So after cutting out that axis, it's so much easier to reach into those small areas and cut them out. Okay, I'm gonna cut in, turn a corner, pull my scissors out, just like that. So you need to cut all three of your uh, cityscapes out because later on we're gonna go and overlap these. So I'm gonna keep working on this and I'm gonna let you guys get started. So first step, cut around your whole inked area. Next step is do a bubble cut that just cuts away the extra uh, sky areas, okay? But then from that point, you're very carefully going and you're cutting out those buildings in detail, okay? It's helpful to pull the scissors out and then cut back in. So I will let you guys keep working and I'm gonna work on mine. I'll meet you back here. 